paint, I've decided to paint this front grill black as well. So, in order to just pull out these black bits, and then use a flathead screwdriver in this retaining clip here in this little hole. So you just kind of pry that out, and then you lift up, there's two clips. There's one there, and there's one on this side, and they just lift out. So this all comes off in three parts. I've taken the black piece off away from the actual grill itself and then I pop this off. On the back there's some like plastic tabs. Be careful you don't break those and they just clip onto that. So I won't be painting the black piece, I'll just clean it up. Won't be painting the badge, I like that in chrome so that can stay. So the next job is just to clean this up really well. Um, it's got some stone scratches. Potentially could sand those down if you really wanted to, um, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to clean it up with white spirit, clean my hands, um, and then start spraying it in the black paint. So just cleaning this off with um, some white spirit. Probably have clean hands really, make it a lot easier. I'm trying to get most of the dirt off and I can go over it again with clean hands. Just getting all the, like, the bugs and stuff, all the like, little pieces off. Dirty fingerprints. It's quite clean. I'm going to clean my hands and do that again. So, clean hands. So. Now, just finish it off. Probably leave it in the sun to dry for 10 15 minutes. Let's see if there's any bits on it then. Just re clean it. Try not to touch any of it with my skin. Don't leave any like oil or marks that then the paint won't stick to. Nice clean surface. Right, so we'll leave this in the sun to dry off. first coat and then there's still some little pieces that have either peeled off or just haven't dried properly so we're going to go over those. And my 